taxes on what the IRS will consider to be taxable income. Call us for a free consultation to discuss the many possibilities. Call 1-800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-N-O-T-A-X. Or go to my website at taxhelponline.com. Dan Pilla has been protecting taxpayers from the IRS for three decades, and he can help you. Call us today, 800-346-6829. That's 800-34-NO-TAX. The world appears to be on the brink of collapse. Experts say a pinch of heirloom vegetable seed could soon be the most valuable resource on Earth because it will provide healthy food now and every year after. SurvivalistSeeds.com now has the heirloom garden seed time capsule, allowing you to store your seeds for the future anywhere, even underground, for 100 years. The heirloom garden seed time capsule can withstand three tons of weight, is 100% rodent-proof, waterproof, and comes with a whopping 6,000 healthy vegetable seeds from 20 varieties that will grow anywhere in the USA, unless you trust the government. The Heirloom Garden Seed Time Capsule and Heirloom Seeds from SurvivalistSeeds.com is your long-term food solution. Our competition charges $0.10 cents to $1.25 per seed for these same heirloom varieties. But you can now have a head of lettuce, a bundle of carrots, a basket of tomatoes, a giant watermelon, and 16 other varieties for about a penny a seed each. Be prepared. Buy your heirloom seeds today from SurvivalistSeeds.com and have food insurance for your family forever. Visit SurvivalistSeeds.com. SurvivalistSeeds.com is owned by Big John Lipscomb, host of the Don't Tread On Me radio show. With rising unemployment and an economy that continues to fail comes an increase in crime. Are you safe when you walk to your car? Are your kids safe when they go out? Everyone needs something to give that extra edge in case of an attack. You need DPS Pepper Spray from MrDefense.com. DPS is the strongest pepper spray on the market and is the same spray used by hundreds of law enforcement agencies from around the world. Need something more? The Stinger Keychain is a great way to surprise a potential attacker. Mr. Defense carries the largest selection of stun guns, air tasers, knives, swords, batons, survival spy, and tactical gear. Mention this ad and receive 10% off your order. Visit MrDefense.com. That's MRDefense.com or call 1-800-313-6400. 1-800-313-6400. That's 1-800-313-6400 today. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN, great talk radio starts here. Welcome back. Welcome back to America Now. We're talking with uh, Cliff uh, High and George Ure of Urban Survival. We've got a call, Jim, in Colorado. Hi, Welcome to the show. Hi, this is Jim. Hi, Scott. Hi, Barb. Hello. What do you want to add to the show tonight, buddy? Yeah, I'd like to talk about global warming. Okay, we're on a li- little bit of a limited schedule here. What's your question or comment about global warming, Jim? My comment is that CO2 seems to be overblown as a climate force, or I think clouds and possible solar changes are much more important. I'd agree with that yeah, one. I, don't, I think uh, the, the wave across the ocean is, or at least across the pool, is kind of headed that way. You know, I've been talking with Al, Al Gore's. Uh, go ahead. I've been talking with William Gray, and he thinks that the CO2. Uh, mania, we spent billions of dollars in models, is um, is pretty overblown. That can amount to about four watts per, per meter, whereas clouds can change the radiation budget up to 100 watts. Which is significant. Yeah, in my, in my it, case, it, I look at I'm... the, um, when I look at data and stuff and I start looking through our Terra entity, uh, like I say, in 1997, I first started seeing that people were disturbed by solar influences and that, in fact, uh, when I grew up as a kid here on Earth, a guy from (laughs) Superman's planet would have powers because we had a yellow sun. Now it's distinctly white, and there's some indication in our data that it's probably going to move over towards blue-white, and that'll be rather disturbing for a lot of individuals. But we first started noticing in 97 this uh, dichotomy, what we call duality, between the officialdom and their prognostications and trying to get everybody wrapped up into the details of, oh, yes, buy carbon credits and do all this other crud. 
but for basically world economy. it's a uh, pan uh, solar system situation that humans cannot affect. However, they must have you think that there is something that can be done because otherwise they lose a huge chunk of control. And we think that this, uh, in our it's last report here, them. that they are going to lose control and it'll be around the global warming issue over summer. Is that uh, uh, George? It's Cliff. Oh, Cliff, I think it has to do with the global economy and carbon tax credits being sort of the one world government. Well, but it's all wrapped up into it. You, you, you know, you get, got to watch out about getting uh, trapped in the minutia of it all, because as soon as you start focusing on the details, they've got you. They've trapped your little monkey mind, and you're missing the bigger picture that's going on elsewhere. And yes, it's all wrapped up together. It's a it's a giant, big conspiracy. The, the probably the second largest one in universe, and only because we don't know about the big one. Uh, but exactly. uh, at the moment. It appears as though a lot of the powers that be efforts are going to start unraveling over the course of this year. And so I expect, actually, for instance, the coagulation of the government, the reduction of the workforce, the firing of subcontractors to lead and put pressure on people that won't be able to make their bills anymore, won't be paid by the black ops uh, shadow government guys, and they're going to start uh, popping off with all kinds of information that they think they know about just in order to, to make ends meet. And we're going to start seeing a lot of information come out, especially relative to what's going on across the entire solar system. Cliff, wow. from my perspective, I ran a measurement program for 12 years at uh, Colorado at a university, and um, I was making detailed solar measurements of the radiation that made it through the clouds and all the muck. And yeah. I was told there was no interest in precision measurements, that they'd rather spend their money on modeling. Sure, yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, it's, it's kind, of, kind of like the physical sciences version of mark-to-market. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. People, people and, and it's yeah. weird, academia, uh, I've worked as a low-level uh, lab tech and this kind of thing and seen it from that side. I've worked on the giant... Uh, corporation side and seen it where they're pushing on academia and really in anything associated with universities comes down to it's a profit making venture and you must go into it knowing that and that profit making venture is going to actually force us away from doing serious science and it and it is convenient for the powers that be because it allows them to cover up all the really cool stuff like tesla hyperdimensional uh, models of universe etc cetera, etc cetera, and get us all trapped into debates over carbon credits so i have a tendency actually because i deal as a radical linguist to you start bringing up certain subjects and nope that's the end of it and no point in talking with you from that point on because i know your mindset is going to be trapped into details and is going to attempt to trap us into details and really what we need to be doing is to broadening our awareness paying attention to the details because they're certainly important but not getting consumed by them so if i'm doing what every scientist has always wanted to do that that is work on my intuition rather than what a suit in washington tells me cool that's how maxwell got where he got yeah and look at George Urey. He's out there monkeying around with magnets that float down through <laughs> copper tubes and end up uh, in another dimension for a few seconds. <laughs> Ooh, that's great. It, now, now we can just use that to power his daywoo for some. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to stick a goat in there on some kind of a treadmill. Uh, actually, yeah, the goats are really the preferred go. option. As long as they don't generate methane. I like goats. Well, I, I figured as long as you didn't have to go as far as Tyler. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a drive. But but um, what, what there's got to be a way for us to use the voices that we have to be able to bring these inventors, because I think all of America's problems have solutions within Americans themselves, whether it's global warming, whether it's the hydrogen, petroleum, education, uh, space travel. I think, are, are, yeah, are yes. that. But w- there's these inventors that have been suppressed for decades after decades, and I really would like if we're going to go through an episode of transparency that the administration opens up these books of secrets and Wait shares minute, this Scott. beautiful work. Why do you think there's going to be trans- transparency? I mean, the lobbyists are still writing checks, brother. And still writing the law, they are. et cetera, as long as you're trapped yeah. in understanding the administration. Yeah, yeah. It's not, in fact, uh, the president is not the leader of the free world. He's merely yet one of the minion class. 
to the people yes, that yes. actually run things. You have to really I, take I a that's... huge step back. And then once again, if you're voting Republican or Democrat, you're part.